All right, it's London Marathon Week and you're likely going to see loads and loads of people going and doing it and saying they had a really wonderful time. I'm here to tell you some reasons why maybe the London Marathon isn't for you and I'll leave all the good reasons for them and their videos as they run it. So here we go. So one of the first reasons why you may not want to do the London Marathon is because it is a marathon. That's quite a long way. So that's 42 kilometers or 26.1 miles. So you're going to be taking quite a long time, you know, unless you're, you know, pretty elite, that's going to be two hours. But you're looking at kind of four to five, maybe six hours to do that. If you run the whole way, if you're walking a little bit, you're going to probably see a little bit more if you're not walking too consistently within your plan. So that's amazing time on feet. And yes, it's a great achievement to be able to do, but oh, it's a long time to think about, isn't it? Jogging around London for that long, it may put some people off. So you may choose that actually a marathon isn't the distance for you. You know, and sometimes you get swept up in this feeling that a marathon is all there is and you have to do it to be able to be a runner, but you don't, you know? All you need to be able to do is just go out, go running. Doesn't matter how far, doesn't make it matter how fast, just as long as you're out there. Doesn't need to be a marathon to solidify your place as a runner. The next reason why it might not be for you is because of the training commitment. If you're planning on running a marathon, you're going to need to train for a marathon. It's not something that you can really just pitch up and do. So most kind of training plans for a marathon suggest 20 miles as your longest run. And that's still a long way, but you're gonna have to fit around all your work and your life in general in order to complete the distance and be happy. So this might be something that doesn't really fit into your life right now. On top of that, the training plan is gonna take, you know, it's not gonna take one month. It's not gonna take two months. It's likely gonna take at least four months of your life. And that'd be four months that you don't really wanna to commit to doing a marathon. And that's fine, you know? Feel good about doing other things. Don't feel like tied to this marathon idea because you feel like you really need to do it. You know, training plans and training schedules are a reason to choose your races. If you can't do three or four runs a week, it's likely that completing marathon right now probably isn't quite in your remit. And that's absolutely fine. If you really want to do it, at some point you'll make a switch and you'll be able to fit it in. But just know that progress doesn't always need to be going up, 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 up. You know, you can take your time, go a bit more steady sometimes. entry type. So the first thing is the London Marathon is a lottery entry. So you kind of put your name into a ballot and then one day names get picked and you might get in, you might not get in and you just have to be completely okay with either outcome. You know like in most races you just enter and you're in but for London because there's so many people wanting to get in it is quite tricky. And maybe it'll take you a few years to actually get in through your ballot entry. And whilst they do tell you plenty of time to go, you know, you might have a period of time where you're really unsure as to what your next big race will be. And that uncertainty might not suit some people. There are other ways into the race without needing to do the ballot. And that's good for age, which means you need to get a certain time as part of your age group in order to qualify for one of those places. Even then, if you get the time, you're still not guaranteed because there's so many people getting those places. You almost need to be five to 10 minutes quicker in order to guarantee that place in the race. And again, that training load, to be able to do that might not be what everyone wants. You can also get charity places. So in these instances, you have to raise a certain amount of money 
in order for the charity to give you that place so you commit to raising 500 pounds for the charity and they'll give you entry into the race and you run for them wearing usually their top things like that so that's another way in i think you can also get club places as well so if you're part of a running club they might have run rock club places which are kind of allotted based on size the next entry requirement you might have with the london marathon is simply the price of it this year's price for a normal entrance is 69.99 so that's if you live in the uk and you're going to just enter the race well try to enter the race it's 70 pounds it's quite a lot if you don't live in the uk it's 150 pounds for that you are getting all the aid stations the close rows those things that kind of get put on as extra as a big marathon but it does feel like a lot of money so alternatively what you could do is find a marathon in a local event so there's loads of race organizations around the country you'll find some local to you and they'll probably have a marathon on there probably isn't quite as much money because they don't need the infrastructure that the london marathon needs to support that many people so have a little look if a marathon is what you want to do at those organizations because it really does help them and then you can kind of keep running going in your local area which saves a lot of money as well all right so you've got it through the ballot paid your 70 pounds what now could be the problem now you've got to find some way to get there so if you're driving you've got to be careful around london because they're low emissions area if you get in the train that could end up being quite expensive then if you're staying overnight you'll find that if you don't book early hotels are going to be snapped up and also the price is inflated so you're going to be playing paying even more over race weekend than you probably wanted to so just keep that in mind when you do go to book you've got all of those things to think about as well also i'm really sure I'm most of the shots are on this road it's quite windy today and it keeps raining so i'm trying to get them all done but whilst i've got a little bit of clean air kind of without the wind and the rain so yeah you'll likely see more of these houses as we go along not quite what i wanted for this video but it'll do so why do i need a hotel i hear you saying well the answer to that is the early start you know in order to get to the race line start line along with thousands of other people you're going to need to plan your journey down towards it you know that's probably going to mean waking up at 5 a.m kind of making your way towards the start from 6 a.m and waiting in your pen ready for the start even though that could be 10 half 10 by the time it gets to you you've still got to factor in when you need to be in that pen and how long it's going to take so yeah that's definitely a reason to have a hotel definitely the night before if not the night after as well when everyone tries to rush out of London post run. All right, here we go. So here are two reasons that are linked together and these are quite possibly the reasons why I might not do it ever. Uh, simply the crowds and the noise. So there's gonna be I think there's 70,000 runners, then you've got all of their supporters, the whole of London, pretty much. They all come out to support this race, and it's going to be a really overwhelming environment for you to keep running. For some, they love that crowd and they relish in it. For others, it's quite a lot. You know, with that amount of noise going on, you, it, it can be really hard to focus on what you're trying to do. I just keep going and I find sometimes if there's quite a big crowd you forget what pace you're running you go a bit faster you're gonna blow up over a marathon so yeah for me I think I'd definitely prefer calmer one maybe some trails and some views whilst London does have great views of the city it's not the same as landscape is it so there you have it that's some of my top reasons as to why I probably won't be doing the London Marathon anytime soon. 
if you've resonated with any of these ideas, pop them down below. And if you do feel differently about the London Marathon, why not put them below? I'm sure if you watch it on Sunday, you'll see loads of reasons why it would be maybe a bit of fun, a really good time, a party. But for me right now, I'm happier with not doing it. Happy running, everyone!